Hello, I'm Vincent, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use HyperNav to um, set up avoidance between objects that are not using the HyperNav pathfinding system. So in this demo, I basically spawn a bunch of these agents in a sphere, and they all move towards the center trying to get to the opposite side of the sphere, but they all get stuck in the big clump in the middle, and once again they're completely stuck here and never getting out of here. So we can do something about this using avoidance. Once again, uh, I'm going to go into the info hazard create menu and create an avoidance manager. But this kind of time, I'm going to um, give it some more generous parameters. This spawner is set to spawn 500 agents at a distance of 25 units away from the center. So I'm going to just go ahead and update this max obstacles considered all the way to 500. And you'll be able to see that even um, with such a high number of obstacles considered, this still performs quite well. For the time horizon, I'm also going to bump this way up to 50 to make sure that they can look super far in the future and plan out what they're doing in advance. So that's the avoidance manager set up. Then I need to configure this prefab I'm spawning to use the avoidance. So uh, here's my prefab. And unlike before, I don't have a nav agent on here, so I don't have that button to add the uh, avoidance agent. So I'm going to just add that manually. I want avoidance agent. And for the radius, it is the same as the last one. It's 0.35. For the max speed, it is 4. And I'm going to bump up this avoidance padding to 1 to um, have them try to leave more space between each other. But this avoidance agent isn't going to actually be doing anything yet because whereas in the previous example the nav agent was handling all the interactions with the script I now need to handle this myself because I don't have a nav agent. So I'm just going to go into my avoidance agent controller script here and um, write some code for this. So first we need a reference to the avoidance agent then we basically need to do two things with this agent. We need to tell it what direction we want to move in. In this case, that direction is towards the other side of the sphere. And then read the direction that this agent reports we should move in and use that as our movement. So to give it our desired velocity, I can do this in start. I can say avoidance agent dot input velocity func or function equals get desired velocity. So what I'm doing here is I'm basically taking this function which returns the direction I want to move in and I'm using this as a delegate and passing it to the avoidance agents input velocity func. So now this agent can query me for what direction I want to move in whenever it needs to. Now um, down here where I was previously using this get, in, get desired velocity function for the actual movement, I need to change this to use the agent's desired velocity. So in this case I'm just going to get rid of that and say instead avoidance agent dot avoidance velocity. So this avoidance velocity is the one you want to read to get like kind of the output velocity of this agent. Alright, so back in Unity I need to go ahead and assign this and that should be everything I need to do. Now you can see when they get to the center, they're still kind of a cluster. You know, it's hard to avoid that, but they are clearly making their way through the cluster and they are much more efficiently able to kind of break through and get to their desired locations. So Yep, that is how you can use avoidance without using any path planning. And this also shows that you can have quite a few agents and it'll still perform very well. That's all thanks to the Unity Burst compiler. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video. I hope this is helpful to you. And uh, just reach out to me by email or Discord if you have any questions. So goodbye for now.